Let's go, Bubbles Gaming Crash versus Mind Sanity Destiny. This is Grand Finals here with Wii Fit Trainer versus Terry. Both both players starting off with their bad B and B combos. Just the bread and butters getting a little bit of damage off. <laughs> but of course, if you got deep breathing, it's not just bad bread and butter, it just does a lot of damage. And if you're Terry, everything does a lot of damage. Both at 80 within seconds, only 30 seconds passed. And we got two players already almost in kill percent. Yeah, no, no, they're both in kill percent, considering that we have deep breathing and go time activated. Can we get a Buster Wolf? We get a Buster Wolf, but Crash hangs on. Dash attack from Destiny. Doesn't quite get the kill. Crash retreats to ledge, but yeah, Destiny with his, with his favorite kill move, the dash attack at ledge. Such a strong option. Covers so much. Also covers the Wii Fit uh, football. Yeah, Crash now establishing the ledge as his home base. Good spot dodge cancel up tilt by Destiny. I'm always so impressed when players just turn around and grab. And we get the Nair into the down air, and that's out of nowhere. After a pretty even start, Destiny is at a two-stock lead. And he gets a grab into up B. Misses the up B after the up air. Um, and now it's only a one-stock deficit for Crash, which is still bad, of course. Especially because he has to win two sets here to get go home with the number one place and it's looking kind of grim here in this first game one hundred percent already on crash gets a Q conversion with the football destiny still controls center stage though destiny always controls center stage seems like except when he doesn't Dash attack on shield gets punished by the back air out of shield, um, which kills. And right now it's dangerous, and yeah, that's it. Jab, jab, up B. Um, not the best option from ledge for crash there. He expected Destiny to be a little bit close to the stage, so he could hit him with the nair. But like this, he just gets grabbed, uh, jabbed, and the jab, of course. Confirms into a kill, which means 1-0 Destiny, 0 games dropped for Destiny, yet we are still in the same place as before, except one game closer to the potential end of the tournament. The potential conclusion. It was definitely an exciting game, it started hella quickly, both players brawling a lot, they're playing rather close to each other. Very solid spacing, spacing by Destiny. Um, always outspacing the Nair, not trying to shield it, but instead just um, covering it by just dashing away or in. Crash makes it back to ledge, but he's got a big percent deficit again. Okay, back air for Crash. No double jump on Destiny, but uh, Crash with a little bit of a miss input there. Probably didn't mean to go that far off stage. And yeah, that up the great recognition by Destiny that Crash was gonna land on him with a neutral air. So he just... <laughs> Destiny with the triple dash attack! Yeah, that could be some signs that those players are getting a little exhausted. We saw Crash just charging. Um, the down smash in center stage, I do not understand. <coughs> Great dash grab by Crash, shows that he's still got some confidence left. <laughs> just F tilt, just a finger to the face. And we're back at even stocks. But 
but not quite even percent. Destiny weaving in and out of Crash Danger Zone. Wow, okay, he could up be out of shield in between the hits, I think, thanks to the parry. Great parry by Destiny, and yeah, that's it. Oh, he misses the power down, gets down air. What a reversal! Crash, oh, you, who arguably should have died with the SDI in and up, I think, to not get hit by the second part of power donk, and then just reversal donks Destiny into the depth, gets the air dodge read, tries to get, go for another down air. This time he gets hit by the up B. We are on final stocks here. Oh, Destiny with the spot dodge up tilt. Still during the invincibility gets punished because of that. And yeah, Destiny recovers a little bit too high with the up B. We get a down tilt from Crash that kills. Um, yeah, and that's 1-1. One, one. Holy crap. So basically, um, it started hella quickly with a big leap for Destiny. And then he just gave it out of his hand within seconds. Um, after dropping that second stock, unfortunately very clutch for Crash, great recognition by him to go to go for the down air. And this is the first game of the whole tournament that Destiny lost. Let's see if, if it's gonna remain the last one as well, or if Crash is here to stay, if he can force a game 5 or maybe even a second set. Okay, headphones are on again. Characters are locked in. We are going to game number three, current standing, 1-1. One, one. Players are having fun fun. Pokemon Stadium is the choice. Crash establishing himself on the left side of the stage, but now he's approaching. He's trying to make the best use of his deep breathing. It's hit by Power Dunk, but only the Power Dunk himself, not the Jab Jab, so it doesn't, doesn't only, quote unquote, only do 20 damage. And yeah, I feel like this game has some. has had some impact because Crash is playing a lot more um, offensive, a lot more confident, a lot more active. Almost gets the first stock already. Destiny, oh my god, I, every time I think Destiny has gone too low, but he makes it back every time. 128 28 now on Destiny, they both get hit towards center stage, I do not know why and how, but both players alive. 150 on Destiny, but it's just one Buster Wolf. Back throw without deep breathing isn't gonna take it narrowly. Oh yeah, that's neat. Challenging those deep breathing hitboxes. This, this is a dangerous game to play and he pays the price. Drops his first stock. Crash fighting his way back to ledge. Gets back to the stage. Gets a beat for his trouble. Still alive though, 142. That's neat. Trying to find an up smash. Doesn't get it. And yeah, that... Becker gets punished by the jab jab, but doesn't hit the conversion after the jab jab. Crash is still continuing his momentum. Just approaches with the back air. Destiny a little bit scared. They get caught on the power dunk by the up smash and they kill at 87 before the hit. And we got a two stock lead here for Crash. He is playing with confidence right now. But always remember, it takes so little for Terry. He's not hitting. He's not hitting. Maybe Crash is at too high of a percent to get hit by those jab jab confirms. What the hell is going on? I haven't seen Destiny miss those all day. And oh, we almost got a three stock on Destiny. Crash still continuing the momentum. Football is coming, no double jump on Destiny. Gets back to stage with the air dodge. 
But the F tilt closes it out and that's a 3 stock for Crash! Holy crap! From not dropping a game to getting 2 stuck in a clutch because of a clutch edge guard reversal into the 3 stock for Crash. Crash now up 2-1 on Mind Sanity Destiny. Are we gonna see one more turnaround? It's already pretty late. We've been playing for uh, 7 hours. But maybe we got time for just one more turnaround. Maybe even two, if Destiny's gonna turn it around again. Looks like we're gonna have a big battle for the money here, for that number one place, which both of those players definitely want. Crash getting good mileage out of Destiny, out of his neutral air. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard um, for Destiny and the first games. Uh, I said it. He, the way he fought against Crash is Nair. I really like that. By not challenging it, but instead just trying to space around it. And maybe it's, he's getting lazy. Maybe he, I don't know why, but he's not trying to space around it anymore. Uh, he's more confident in holding shield at the moment. Gets an B, and it's enough because of the range. Just barely enough. Gets a lead again. Crash comes back with the deep breathing though. Wow, so many punnels. Destiny just not mashing at all. How did Destiny make it back? Okay, but the fair with the deep breathing, the fair is safe on shield. Ma <laughs> what the hell? Amazing play by Destiny at ledge to not die, but it didn't really get him anything. And yeah, we got some spaghetti here. We got some mistakes from both players, like input errors. Doesn't happen all the time and should not happen ever. Crash trying to retreat, retreat back to center stage. Got shield grabbed for his Nair because he tried to shield after it. But it another jab jab up B and that's the second stock and Destiny's back in the lead here after getting a three stock. He has not lost his spirits. Um, he's got a full stock lead here. <laughs> Crash with funky like setups. setups. Uh, going for the bowling ball with some weird hit hitbox that he only he knew how and why it would send it that way and how quickly. Crash off stage, uh, Destiny off stage, gets F smashed, cannot get back to ledge, and after getting a whole stock for himself, Destiny drops one whole stock, and now we're back to even at just one deep breathing sun salutation, 30%. Advantage for Crash again, he tries to go for a sexy combo there with the football into the down air. Doesn't quite hit it, but it still did a lot of percent. Another strong back air. Both players back at latch, we got go time ready. Bust Wolf could come at any time, we got a grab here. And now it certainly kills. And yeah, that's the Buster Wolf into game number five. Gets the jab, jab, Buster Wolf. And we are moving into the closing game of this set number one. It's been a back and forth all set long. Destiny winning game one, dropping games two and three. Now winning game four. We had a three stock in between. We had a two stock game one for Destiny. It's going back and forth. And it seems to just get closer and closer. That game was down to the wire. Last hit. Could have gone either way. Just one F tilt for Crash. But in the end it ended with that Buster Wolf for Destiny. With the jab jab conversion. Gets the kill. Moves into game number five. He of course he wants to take this home with just one set. Apparently not dropping a game was too much to ask. But not dropping a set is definitely still possible if he continues playing like this. And Crash doesn't find any new answers. Good dash attack, just challenging uh, Crash, who was setting up his football. Oh, 
Crash trying to find the roll read. A little bit too slow with that F smash. Interesting recovery option for Crash and it works out. He gets back to center stage here. Finding a center stage out, but the Buster Wolf takes his stock. Destiny in the lead here. A uh, little bit of a little bit of a brawl in center stage. Destiny comes out on top thanks to the Buster Wolf, but we're back to even right now. Zero zero again <coughs> in this game five. Thanks to the F tilt with the deep breathing. A uh, good spot dodge up tilt because of the invincibility on it. Uh, he can actually challenge that Nair. <coughs> a little bit of a lead for Destiny, but this is basically no lead. He has to get a bigger one and he's working on it. Crash gets back to the stage with the get up attack. Holy shit, man. With the deep breathing activated, everything does so much damage. Up smash out of nowhere almost. Both players back on stage. Another dash attack. Crash hangs on. Gets the deep breathing now. No double jump. He's off stage. Comes back. With the bowling ball. Catches the jump. Almost gets the F tilt. Destiny back in center stage. Hits the late hit um, dash attack. Ooh, that was scary for Crash. Ballsy grab. Jab, jab, up B. I'm not sure if Crash dropped shield. I think he dropped shield. That was not a shield poke. Might have shield poke too, though. It's an F tilt with the breathing, but it's not quite enough. Now we get a Buster Wolf. That's 63%. That's half of what Destiny needs. Another Buster Wolf, and that's the tournament! Yeah, that last talk was fast. That's Terry's go time. <clears throat> Destiny makes amazing use of it. Um, that's all he needed. Two good openings for Destiny is all he needed. He goes home with big money, with another first place. He did drop two games. Big congrats to Crash for being the only one to take games off of Destiny.